And the next one that talking about the integration between uh, Slack and Bitrise. So sometimes we need to integrate different third party tools with our CICD pipelines to increase the collaboration and productivity between the mobile teams. Nemesh will tell us how to set up Android build automation in under 10 minutes and send your build status to Slack channel with awesome GIFs imported from Jiffy library. Nemesh is an Android developer at uh, Grappus. He is an experienced and patient Android developer who has released more than 30 apps to Google Play and App Store. He set up Betrays for his organization and save time for his team. And he is the one who maintain it on a daily basis. Hi, Nemesh. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Thanks for inviting me. It was a very nice Thanks. introduction. So today, like I'll show you how to set up Android build automation under 10 minutes. So this is just a basic app, which I have published to GitHub to save our time. So this is the app link. I'll just leave in, in the chat. Just to see. So now let us set up the bit rise for this application. So I'll just go to add a new step on web UI. Uh, for my account, I have linked my GitHub account. I'll choose this app. And for the sake of this demo, I'll make the app public. We'll click on next. I'll choose my repository. There's a GitHub repository branch, which I want to make build is main branch. Next. So in this app, but the bit rise is determining what kind of project it is better it is an android project or a web or a backend or any other kind of project so it is scanning the uh, project and soon it will give us a hint yep so now it has mm, thought that it is an android project so app module i want to build app module it's a basic app nothing nothing in it so we'll build the default app module uh, variant there is no special variant in it so we'll leave it empty so here we are next. So we'll leave the configuration as it is default. We'll click on confirm. Yep. As of now, we can skip uploading custom image. So uh, what is a webhook basically? So Bitrise, this, this project will get all the updates which it, it can register the webhook. So whenever any activity is done, it will get a callback to whether to do any operation or start a build or not. So I will just ask Bitrise to register a webhook for me. So whenever any branch or PR is merged, we will get a notification here and we can start a new build or what to do whatever we can. So yes, so Bitrise has now kicked off our first build, first test build for us. I'll just click on the banner. It will go to the build details page. Let me show you the, what is a workflow. Till the time this app is building, I'll show you what is a workflow and like what are these, some of the steps involved in it. We'll go to this workflow tab. So basically there are two workflows present inside. One is deploy and one is primary. So what is a workflow? Workflow is basically series of steps, which we series of steps or series of operations, which we, try, which we will perform in this workflow. In this, this is the name of the name of this workflow is primary and, and another one is deploy one. So in this primary workflow, what all things are involved basically, first of all, it will set up authentication, then it will clone our repository. It will pull the cache. So cache, what we do is at the end of the build, we just push the cache. And at the starting, we just pull the cache to reduce our build time. So <clears throat> it is our script stack. If you want to perform any custom operation, we can do that with this. It will in install the missing Android dependencies here. It will perform Android link checks here. And it will run our unit test. And then it will betrise. Then it will deploy the all the results to betrise. So again, all these are optional. We can remove whatever step. If you don't like, we can remove the step from here. Let's see our build. This build is running. So again, it is performing all those configuration. It has set up the authentication. It has cloned the repository. It has pulled the cache. And it now it is running Android link step. In the meantime, like I have configured a slab bitrise.yml file. I can for the to save time here and just copy and paste this YAML file there. 
and at the end of and while the new build is being built i'll just explain all these steps which are involved inside it just paste this bitwise.yaml file and just click on save and also i'll share the link of this this is the bitwise just file bitwise yaml just it's a public just So now, in order to get our builds on our Slack channel, what we have to do is basically we have to set up a place. We have to give it a place where we will receive the callback. Add apps to this channel. I'll insert the app called Incoming Webhook. Incoming webhook. I'll add this app to my channel. It will give me a space where we can post messages to the notifications. Yes, we are done. I'll just copy this URL and we'll go to secrets. From this, we'll name this Slack Webhook. Yep, so meanwhile, our first build is complete. So what it has done is, so let, let us go to, let us start the build once and then we'll go all the steps which are involved in this. So now I will start the deploy workflow. I'll start this deploy workflow. Just click on start book. So in primary workflow, what all steps it has performed is it set up authentication, it cloned my repository, it downloaded the cache, and it has installed the missing Android tools basically. Then it ran lint checks across my code base. If like any lint check is missing, it could have given the error. Then it had run the unit test. Again, this is a very default project, so it didn't have any, any test cases. No, and then it has all the files which were generated in the meantime, it has deployed to Bitwise. And at the end, we have pushed the cache. And these all took only 2.9 minutes. Basically. Now we are, so this is just to, to run test, test lint and all. It, it did not generate any APKs or like any other output files, any other much output files. But now we are talking about the deploy workflow in deploy workflow at the end of this workflow we will get an apk file which we can distribute automatically so let's see so let's see what all steps are being performed inside it i'll just open the workflow I'll just explain to you step by step what all things are involved inside the deploy workflow. What all series of steps are you performing basically? So again, from the starting, it has set up authentication. It has cloned my repository. We pulled the cache. We installed the missing Android dependencies, and this is a very interesting thing. So if you want to update a version code or version name programmatically, we can do inside this step. Right now, I didn't want to do it, so I left all the values as empty. Then it installed the Android Lint. It ran Android Lint checks. Then it ran Android unit test. And in this steps, we basically, it is running a command to generate the APK. So right now we are generating debug APK. So we do not require any signing keys or JKS file, any kind of thing. 
but if we require our bill to be signed, we can provide the credential to this step and write sign in step. And it will sign our key via whatever credential which we have provided. Then again, it will do all the APKs which is generated, it will upload those artifacts to Bitrise. And in this step, what basically we are doing is if our build is success, then we are adding these keywords to the Giphy, Giphy to fetch the GIFs basically. So we'll, at the end, I'll show you a very nice build with the Giphy GIF. If the build is success, then we can add these, key, then we can fetch the GIF basis on this, these keywords, build success, congrats, victory, and all this. And if build is failed, then we can call fail, disappointed, try, try, again. You know, so based on this keyword, these keywords, we'll fetch a random GIF from JP, and then we'll send a Slack message. In this Slack message, it will deliver all the contents. It will deliver the builds to a Slack channel to the here. And boom, we are here. So this is the workflow which we have triggered already. Now, I have received the build link on here like that. I've received my building here. So we can use any channel, whatever you want. So we have received a nice idea. We can set these values. <laughs> so yeah, this was very simple, very easy. Now we don't have to, and what else we have done is like, whenever we click on view all artifacts, artifacts button, and whatever we also, whatever email list we have shared, Everyone will get the link to install the APK from their mailbox itself. So your QA, your PM, everyone can install the build from mailbox itself. No need to go to ping them automatically. Or even they can click on this button. If they click on view all artifacts or any of this button, it will take them here. It will, this page will show you whatever, all the builds which are available, basically. All the files which were generated, like in this case, all these files were generated. They can see and have a look at any of these steps and install the APK for them. Like if I want to install this APK, there is a public install page being generated, is automatically generated for this. And everyone in your team, like a PM, QA, everyone can install the APKs from there by clicking on this download button. So yes, so this was from my side. Like we can, how, how very quickly we can set up build automation for Android. Yeah, yeah. thanks Nimesh for, for the interesting topic. Uh, actually, I just I was wondering to see the uh, the GIF for the field build <laughs> because uh, Sorry? usually maybe you will find them. I was just wondering to see the GIF when the build failed. Yeah. So because success, I think it will be <laughs> like something interesting. Yeah, it, so just yeah, to yeah, look, look to the image. Yeah, look to the image. You will find you will feel that the build is failed already. Yeah. So everyone is excited in our team to see the GIF. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, thank you, yeah. Snemish, for your time. Yeah, 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 yeah.